Coach Maneri said the other day he got really emotional seeing that 2002 banner you guys took out on the field. What's what's kind of the story of how you know that banner got there? Well, um, I, when I got the job, he called me, and Nick, his son, is is our academic advisor. So before I ever got here, Paul was like. I'm going to tell you some of the things I think you need to know as you enter Notre Dame. And we talked. I sat in a little Starbucks near my house in North Carolina for 40 minutes. And I literally was like writing things down. And some of the stuff, 100%, I agreed with and did. There were a few things I said, that's probably, I didn't tell him, but that's probably not my style of doing it. And every coach has to have right. his style. But his continued, and that was call one. His continued advice on how to navigate some of the things that make Notre Dame very special but very unique, he, he got it. And then Nick was our academic advisor, and he literally sat in my office with me whenever I asked him to, and we talked about the travel and the classes and when we should practice and how long we should practice and what days we should have study hall, what days we should lift. What day should we do tutors? Should we do them at night? Should we try to fit them in in the morning? So those guys got me off the ground here. I'm probably wrong about the banner story, but I think they brought that back. Did they bring that back when their group was, was here? That's been at school for a long time. He what? said he, said he hadn't seen it since 2003. Yeah. How did he go? It's just been passed down since. Where was it? Players. The players have just had it and passed it down to the next class. Where was the physical band? Then, then living. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. Probably won't use that one. <laughs> <laughs> that team, are back to what you feel. Like to walk into this room when we're playing Boston College and feel that team's presence who essentially did what we did. I did the color commentary of the game to think about that's how this thing lined up. It's magical. And I stood here with those guys for a while and talked to Paul, and we went out and guys were in exams. We played a terrible game. I think we lost Friday night. Might have been one of our toughest losses. And then played one of our best games Saturday and one Sunday, like kind of a comeback. So that group watching our team perform and their comments on how they enjoyed watching the way they do it. That's the feeling I have from that group. And now you're 20 years later, the number one team, I think theirs was the number one team, yeah. and you look at that banner, and there's that blank bottom of it where it looks like that you should and will, you're going to plug 2022 right in there under the other two, and it's meant to be. It's fitting. And Paul had a hand in it probably more than he realizes.